construction of the defensive walls around the town of the Grindavik to protect the town and its assets and businesses and homes from the effect of the volcanic eruption and the lava flow is continuing no matter day or night. You can see the shift patterns when they turn off the machinery. You see a dip in the blue lines. That means they have switched off the machine, passed it to the next person who is going to start the shift. And then you see the rise in the tremors chart. When you see this kind of, uh, uh, because it's so close to the Grindavik, this machinery and the seismogram, you see the effect of it also when they bang and do things on the machinery and the, our machinery will pick up that. Also, the space weather affects that. You see the disruption by the solar flares in our satellites who register the GPS data to show the distance between the Swarsengi and the satellite, giving us an evidence for the our land uprift. The only reliable thing is these earthquakes, which are verified, and we know that they are real. They're not by the man-made or outer space uh, effects. We see that there are something going on under the Grindavik, between the Grindavik and the Blue Lagoon and the Swartzengi. And there is a possibility, one scenario, that we will have the eruption between the Blue Lagoon and the Grindavik in the Sunduka crater ch chain. Another possibility is that we will have it closer to the Grindavik. That will create this seismic activity, lots of gas, and the hazard map shows that these are the due to the micro seismic activity which creates a lot of cracks in the ground then filled up transgressively toward the Grindovic as you can see here and they get filled up with lava we see evidence of it in fossilized form in many other places including the Sunduka crater chain itself one of them actually erupted near the town of the Grindovic past the lava wall and burnt, burnt part of the uh, town. Several houses were burnt during that. These seals are all the time forming and the seismic activity shows the formation of them. This is because this area is a rift valley full of cracks and through these cracks, voids, magma can rise up. We don't have much evidence actually inside the Grindavik so far, but around it, yes, plenty. And we can see it in the form of these cracks. We call them graben and Horst uh, on the map of the Grindavik or the aerial photographs. This is the reason we have a harbor there. It's created by this Graben's erosion. We may be in a situation that an eruption will reach the town of the Grindavik or the suburbs of it.